walkthrough. If you're a co-host or host, you'll have the option to launch a poll. And when you click that icon at the bottom to launch a poll, what you can also find is a variety of different poll options. If you have more than one poll separately throughout an event. So the first one will come up and what you can do if that's the turn, the time to share this poll, you can launch the polling by doing that. That will open it up for everybody. And then once they've had a chance and they'll let you know how many have voted, you can end the polling and you can share the results right there. Once you're ready to stop sharing results, you just stop it and then X out. When you want to launch a poll again later, you click the icon again, you go to the drop down, you pick the next question, and this one's set up as two questions together, one after the other instead of separate. You launch the poll, you can see how many people have voted, you can see the answers coming in. When you end the poll is then when you share the results so that everyone else can see it. When you are sharing results, it unfortunately does not get included in the Zoom recording, unless you're doing a screen recording like I am right now. So what I often do is read out the answers. I'll read the question, how many people said yes, the percentages, and that way then in an auditory way, it's in the recording, but your participants are able to see the results live. Then you stop sharing results and you exit out and continue. And that's it.